car with you. Look at that. Hands. Oh, look, it's working as expected. Sort of. Oh, the FPS feels brutal, though. We're going to have to do some tweaks, I think. Well, this is interesting. Performance is absolutely savage, though. Everything's pretty much working as you'd expect. How about that? Subnautica with motion controls. Kind of amazing. I wonder if I can even interact with this. Oh, okay, yep. All right, it's not super motiony. You still have to press a button. But nonetheless... All right, so how about this? Um, sort of Half-Life Alex style controls. Whoa, we're gonna have to play with some of this. But yeah, this is Submersed VR. Uh, a proper VR mod. Well, the other VR enhancements was okay, honestly. I'm not a hater of controller-based games. I, I don't think it's awful, but... And I don't have hands anymore. And my controller's disconnected. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is more of an issue with Pimax than... Okay. Well, we are uh, on beta firmware on uh, the Crystal, and sometimes that means uh, beta performance and beta issues. So, <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Let's see here. How are you meant to pilot this? All right, how do you, uh, how do you switch cameras? B takes me back and then uncenters me. So that's a bug. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a way to do this. Let's see here. Press left and right. Well, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work here. We don't have those. But how do I access the different cameras? Because I need, I do, I want them all. Okay, uh, there's no, you can't get full control of the Cyclops. So this does render submersed VR useless to me. This is version 1.6, and so far it's a hard fail. You have a Cyclops, so that's a shame. So I'm gonna go back to the other VR enhancements mod. This is awesome. I love where this is going, but this is not ready to go yet. That's a shame, because this is actually gonna be, would be pretty neat. Although I didn't seriously have an issue with the controller, and I like a lot of this, but um, it's not what we want to do. We want full control over everything. I can't play without some features, you know? Yeah. I have to be able to look or use my cameras on my sub. That's the only thing that's immediately an issue, you know? That and the nightmarishly bad performance. But that may not be specific to submerse VR though. That's just how it often is in games that aren't really VR games. All right, so I'm gonna stop this and go back to the old mod. Jesus, it's loud. Oh, jeez, okay. Oh, your lads, your lovelies, you have one in between. That was a bit of a nightmare to uninstall. And I had a bunch of possibly unrelated annoying technical issues. <laughs> That's gonna happen. But we're back. Thankfully, I made a backup of my save file. When I uninstalled uh, Submersive VR, it did something to my save file and the game would just crash. So it's a good thing I thought to um, back that up before I uninstalled that mod because it really trashed the whole thing. Brought me crashing down. But this isn't my first rodeo, so I remembered to make backups. Clever, huh? All right, so I don't have any major goals exactly. I was kind of hoping I would, but I sort of have everything I want. And well, it's going swimmingly. There's a couple things. Uh, we're gonna need the CMOS depth module. I am going to want to stop talking in the middle of my sentences again. Sorry about that. I'm going to try a couple tweaks here and there. And one thing I want to do is actually put a torpedo system on my CMOS. And you might be like, but the torpedo systems suck. Well, they do, but I have an idea. We're gonna put a wall locker here. Is we're not gonna want the torpedo launchers on the Seamoth maybe most of the time. But what we are gonna want is torpedo launcher, a pair of them, a pair of them. You see, what I want this for is wraiths and leviathans. Now, my understanding is that if you just want the leviathan to go away for a bit, you can still zap them. That's not a solution that's good enough and I don't find that suitable for those wraiths. Guys, stop banging into the submarine. You're a tiny fish. You shouldn't make that much noise. I'm going to have 
vortex torpedoes and gas torpedoes. I'm gonna have both of them. I'm gonna nail them with one and then blast them with the other. And I think that ought to actually work pretty well since the gas torpedoes, if I'm understanding correctly, are an AOE dot. So they're damage over time. So I'm gonna build that torpedo system. I want a whole deck of spare power cells. A whole ass deck. Oh yeah, I have goodies to put up and hang around. I'll do that soon. There we go. That's four. Four is actually gonna be more than good enough, but you know, better than four is six. That's good enough for now, I think. That's pretty good. We'll get those four in. I'll pick up two more later when I have enough copper. It's a torpedo system. And then also we want the depth module for the Cyclops since Seamoth will go down to 900, but this is only 500. So one upgrade will at least match them to parity. But I somehow don't actually have the recipe for the depth module, which is quite surprising to me since it's in an area I've been to before. Yeah, ingredients unknown. I'm confused by that. We should have this. So I think I have an idea where to find it. It's not super safe, but I, I think we're well equipped. So let's get going on that first. God, I have all these dead bodies stuck to my ship. It makes such a racket. <laughs> oh, that's an annoying sound. There's a mod to remove that, and believe it or not, I might actually install it. So that loud crashing, it's unnecessary. The submarine is huge, you wouldn't hear a sound like that. Now we have to be careful. This isn't a dangerous area. I've been here before, but it's adjacent to dangerous areas. Actually, I think we're sort of in the right area. Let's take a look around. We're looking for a big wreck and we've been to this big wreck. Now, if I need to, I can navigate sort of with life pod 19. It's sort of, there's directions I can use there. Oh, it sure is dark. I'm surrounded by sea monsters. That's just a bone shark, right? Yeah. Actually, I expected to see this already. Holy shnikes, is that dark? It is pretty far south, though. What was that? It's low. Did you guys hear that? Hmm. I think that's just Leviathan, like the uh, big sea whale thingies. Yeah. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna change my plan. I know it's like northwest from life pod 19. I'm actually pretty sure it's here though. Like, I'm pretty sure we're very close. And I'm just being freaked out because I'm underwater. And if I just, if I just go lower. Okay, you know what? I did install a device just for this situation. Okay. What was that? Did you see that? It didn't look like a reaper. I turned that off. What is that? 
I think that is a friggin' Reaper. Engine powering down. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, this is a lot scarier than I thought it was gonna be. Lots of sharks, that fits, I remember that. Hey, you jerk. Oh, they look so frightening here. I just have to remember, I have an invulnerability shield. <laughs> I shouldn't freak out, I am. Oh, geez, it's so creepy. It's so creepy, it's so creepy. Nope, two pings is plenty. Why am I going forward? What am I doing? That look longer and stringier. Come on, radar. You're made out of the finest technology. Slow and quiet. I don't remember this being like this at all. I'm gonna be honest with you. I gotta have wandered somewhere really, really strange. If that isn't a Leviathan and I don't turn that off. Look at that ugly bastard. You ugly son of a bitch. New plan. I went way too far south. You're not getting me. I'm far too clever. I'm far too sneaky. What am I heading? Northwest. Yeah, I went too far south. <laughs> That's sonar though. Yeah, you can detect a, a reaper on sonar. I don't know if they can hear it or not though. That guy sign kind of seemed like he was getting closer though, didn't he? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Amy's a little freaked out. That's okay. All right, now poor old Keenan. He's not the best landmark for this. Okay, I'd say we're pretty much right over him. About here, we should find our wreck. There it is. There it is. Apparently in here, there's a Cyclops death module that I just Depth. I think I said death module. Depends who's death. I think we're okay. Now it's supposed to be in a data pad. So let's just keep our eyes out. We've already got that one. That was just outside. The thing is I'm certain I've been quite thorough in this one. If I'm being honest with you. Makes me wonder if my information is wrong. Yeah, it didn't seem it could likely be here. So, looks like there's sort of two entrances here. Being very careful, checking the nooks, checking the crannies. Ah, uh, it doesn't seem like a serious issue here. I feel really confident that I was actually pretty, pretty thorough in here. As I miss a data pad. I'm pretty sure I've been led on a wild goose chase. Yep. This sure smells like a wild goose chase, doesn't it? All right, my intel is bad. Where is it then? Hmm, that's frustrating. I don't see a data box I missed anywhere. I don't think I did. I think I am fed bad intel and that everyone is wrong. Ah, okay. Now that really sucks because this was a safe place to get it and the other places to get it are not safe. Not at all. Oh, this is turning out to be much worse of an adventure than I thought. It always does. I always think this would be pretty easy, but then it's always just pure trauma. I don't understand though. Um, I've heard from multiple people where we were was where it is, and it isn't. Let's take a quick peek again at our options. Okay. Let's see what I can see here. I have no knowledge of this particular life pod. That's frightening. Really? Am I, okay, I should be getting it then. Uh, this game really puts me through a ringer in terms of what am I supposed to do. So I'm gonna have to stop and I'm gonna have to look why I don't know anything about this life pod. Cause that means I'm ahead of the curve if I go there and I'm not supposed to. Okay, all right, here's what we're gonna do. I don't like this, but I like it slightly better. Northwest of Life Pod 13 in the dunes, we can find what we're looking for. I want to head toward 
safer waters, and then I will consider going to the dunes. The dunes has many, many, many leviathans in it. I don't see any options for how to actually do this. So, because I just got fed up and I looked it up, and the answer is Life Pod 2. But I don't, I can kind of get to Life Pod 2. However, Life Pod 2, I should really have triggered by storyline by doing a couple things. And I'm not really in a position to do either of them. Deep Grand Reef, I'm, that doesn't sound like a good idea. So I, I think pretty much dead northwest of Life Pod 13, pretty far into the dunes, and completely surrounded by leviathans, by reapers and possibly worse, is a wreck that has what we're looking for. None of these options are at all good. Okay, now that I'm thinking about this, I do, yeah, I'm gonna RTB, and then I'm gonna charge up my batteries, and then if I'm gonna be anywhere near Reapers, I want, or worse, I want defenses, better ones than I have. I want that torpedo system. I want that combination of torpedoes. I'm not sure if it's actually effective, and I haven't really heard of anybody doing it too much. They've only tried one torpedo or the other, probably because they didn't want to don't, devote half their their storage or upgrade modules to torpedoes which aren't which are a bit limited and to be honest i think i'm going to install that mod to make the crashing so much less noisy i can't stand that constant loud bashing and then we're going to charge up our power cells build another two get that torpedo system none of which is complicated anymore and then we're going to go and quite possibly mix it up with a bunch of leviathans. Oh, I tell you, I don't really want to do that though. Okay, yeah, I went and I quickly installed that No Loud Bangs and Cyclops mod. I'll link it in the description. Apparently, like, like tiny little fish, they've been banging around and it's very annoying. And air bubbles will even make it. So maybe I'm parked in, on top of, yeah, look at that. I'm parked on top of one of those, those uh, bubble things and those bubbles were making those giant bangs. Big things still make giant bangs. Little things like air bubbles and tiny fish don't. So there's a worthy upgrade. All right, and we have our torpedo launchers. And we're gonna hang out with these guys for a bit soon too. And I hate them. I really do want a couple more of these. And I really should build a third power cell charger. It's not immediately critical. Now this is the theory that I can load on multiple of these. Okay, so we want to take off, say, the zapper and the storage module and install... Okay, we can install two. Oh, what? Look at that. They're not... They're not cool and symmetrical. I can't tolerate that at all. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right. There we are. That looks badass. There. Oh. Pop-up headlights. Pop-up headlights. You gotta love them. You don't see those on cars anymore. They looked so cool. Yeah, I'm not sure how many torpedoes we can actually cram into here. This locker is specifically so we can swap out the modules, because most of the time, storage and the zapper is our best bet. But once in a while, it won't be. Okay, a bit annoying is we can't actually make those on the fly. So we need some magnetite. We'll see how many we get. Oh, titanium and then the gas pods. I think I grabbed a bunch of titanium. And I'll grab some extra magnetite, I don't know. That makes the vortex torpedoes. But we also want the payload. So the theory is here, we're gonna hit them. We're gonna hit them with a vortex and then do the coup de gras with the poison, the acid. And I have to remember what I'm here for, this thing. There we are. That is easy as pie. All right, so what do we get? All right. We get two per. And how many? Oh, I wish I thought of this. Now. Come on. Torpedo Bay. Oh my. 
So what it looks like I have to do... Okay, so a little bit annoying. Okay, that is what we want. We want one loaded with killers and the other loaded with stinkers. That's a full deck of torpedoes. That ought to ruin anyone's goddamn day. All right, our power cells are charged up. Now, it is annoying I can't load these individually as left and right. I have to completely load them up with one or the other. That is dumb. That is bad game design. And if I see Leviathan, I should pop him with a vortex and blast him with the nuke. And that should uh, sort his ass out. Maybe a couple. I don't know. Or any of those warpers. All right. I'm feeling safer. Okay. I can't think of anything else. I think we're okay. Let me just check my navigational coordinates again. And we really have no excuse not to go. We are actually honestly armed to the teeth. I would love to keep the zapper on there. But... I don't think we can. Pretty much directly northwest of Life Pod 13. Now, as terrified of everything in this game as I am, this will be the first time we're really in danger. I've been bordering Leviathans, but now they're gonna be there. We should be in a somewhat safe pocket, but they're gonna be all around, all around. We could not be more prepared for them though. Honestly, don't know how well that torpedo combination is going to work. And it should delete most things, but I don't know if it's going to delete a Leviathan. It's going to actually delete a Reaper. That seems pretty optimistic. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty optimistic. Like, don't think for a second my idea is to, like, roll up on, on one of these big boys and just start fronting to him with my tiny submarine's diminutive torpedoes. I mean, I'm glad I got something that I can erase these, erase something with, like a warper. I'd almost love to test this combination on a warper. Okay, life pod 13. North. Oh, I'm already heading in the precise direction. This is the area of the mushroom forest. I'm always going on about every time I'm here. Oh my, I gotta be careful because, you know, there's bad things. There's bad things out here. And... This is what I was talking about. The very stuff we're going into now. And we're gonna be going deep. Whoa, that's a sharp drop off. Whoa, right there. That sonar was 100,000% worth it. One more ping. Ooh, look at that ugly bastard. We're going really slow. We're not in a hurry, but we do have to go much deeper. Oh, shit. Do you guys see him squirming around down there? You ugly son of a bitch. Oh, shit, he's getting close. Yeah. I see you, you greasy, no good, rotten son of a bitch. Should I torpedo him? Look how big that thing is. Oh, those aren't just snappers. That is trouble. But he ain't know nothing yet. We're way too sneaky. Just a little ways this way. Just a little ways past dummy. Oh, there's two of them. Am I insane? I don't think I should be doing this at all. I think this is a great plan that is in no way going to survive contact with the enemy. Why they're so big and ugly. I'm gonna ping them. Yeah, where's your ugly friend? Oh shit, he's eat big and close and ugly. I don't think we can do this. I mean, God, I think we probably maybe can. I mean, I couldn't be better equipped. I'm just really upset by the presence of these guys. Especially because I'm going to have to get out and collect the data pad. What am I going to do? Do I keep going? Do I just slip on past them? He doesn't know. He doesn't know nothing. Engine powering up. Oh, that's loud. 
Can we please be quiet? I don't want to put on silent running. Oh, is he ever close? Hello, you ugly bastard. You're a piece of shit. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like the fact there's multiple of them out there. How are you not detecting this? Oh, why am I still going forward? Ooh, he's so ugly and nasty. I'm gonna slip by this idiot. He's not gonna even know I was ever here. Hey, ugly. I'm right above you and you don't even know it. Yeah, look. Oh, that thing is so terrifying. Radar, why aren't you doing something? You should be blinking wildly. Ooh, look at those pincer things he's got. Thing is, I don't precisely know where my destination is. Engine powering up. Believe me, I would love to, to go higher, but then... Ooh, oh, oh boy. But then I would not know where this wreck is. Oh, he sounds angry. He suspects something's up, but he's too stupid to figure it out. There's another one. This place is absolutely swarming. Okay. <laughs> okay, we fi I figure we gotta be around it now. All right. Engine. Power oh, down. No. Camera systems. Let's take a look. See. Ah, uh, I can't see anything. It's just a bit too dark. Could be down there. I might just have to go deeper and take a look. He's right the f there though. He's right Engine there. Powering up. Now I can turn on silent running. Maybe I oughta. Down. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Oh, boy, I don't want to be doing this. I want that depth module, though. Ping! Nothing. So down further? This is deep. Engine powering up. Warning, entering ecological dead zone. Adding report to databank. Whoa! Warning, creature attack. Deploying the corner. And in fact, emergency speed. Warning, vessel calculated. Excessive and noise. Standard. A head slow. You prick! I don't. I did not see what that was. Okay. That's fine. That's fine, whatever that was. You did jack shit to us. And the decoy worked. The whole plan worked. Shows an inopportune time to leave my engine running. <laughs> okay, we need a new plan. But first... Engine powering down. Oh. Yes, that is a problem. Do I have to get out and repair that? Uh, we're doing that later. This is not a problem. Okay, we're gonna have to formulate a new plan that was a little bit too dangerous and I didn't see what I was looking for. So, as awesome as it is that we managed to survive a leviathan attack with only, you know, a bit of damage, nothing serious. Yeah, okay, we need a different plan and I'll have to sit there and give it a little think because on paper that looked like a pretty decent plan. In reality, that seems to have been a shitty plan. Also, I should have turned my engine off there. He would have had no idea. He just bumbled across me, that guy. He's probably feeling pretty stupid about how I snuck that far in past all his pals. Probably couldn't believe what he was seeing. Actually, we're safe enough. Um, this is just mushroom forest. There they attacked my thresher. Oh, there it is. Look at that. The cheek of that thing. He's lucky I didn't torpedo his ass. If I wasn't scared shitless, I would've. There we are. Good as new. Now, what is my plan? What's my plan gonna be? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. 
I'm gonna have to look something up is what it boils down to. I'll have to look something up and figure it out because I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do right now. Okay, home sweet home. And here is where I'm stopping temporarily to figure out what on earth I'm gonna do and put another decoy in the old tube and recharge my batteries. Oh, is there only two batteries that were actually low? That's not bad at all then. Okay, we're gonna let the old batteries refill and have a think about what we want to do next. Because that plan did not survive contact with the enemy quite literally. So, we'll figure it out. I'll get something going. This isn't enough for an episode. We need something, something good, something worthwhile. And I'm gonna figure out what that is. Yeah, so sit tight. Okay, I'm back and I've got a plan. So this is pretty silly, if I'm being honest with you, but here is our not very good plan, but it is the only plan I got. And I try to play this game legitimately as I possibly can. I cannot stress that. I can't always, this game isn't really made to be played like that. Unless you're gonna play for like hundreds and hundreds of hours. Uh, that's really not suitable for a series like this. So I'm going to build a thermal plant. Now, you see, to do that, what do I need for a thermal plant? Things that would have been a problem at one point, not anymore. We need to build one of these, and then probably some of these, gold and titanium. I don't actually need power here, it's not an issue, but the game wants me to build a thermal plant. They think that I'm gonna, I like base building. But here's the thing, I don't like base building. How big is this? Like, I can't actually, like, put it, yeah. In fact, this actually raises another problem I'm gonna have. I don't actually have any base modules. So I need to go find and scan and get some kind of like multi-purpose room. I just never, I didn't realize you could scan them or something. So we're gonna go do that. To go and actually build a base that's actually gonna be big enough to fit the stupid thermal thing I don't even want. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and scan. I'm gonna have to go and scan one of those sea bases. And I, there's one by LifePod19. So let's go to Life pod 19. So we're gonna go there, find a Degrassi sea base just southwest of life pod, southeast of life pod 19. And then we're gonna scan it. We're gonna scan it so much. And we're gonna get a bunch of base parts and it's gonna be good. Once we have the base parts, we're gonna just go to a thermal vent. There's one very nearby, just northwest of uh, our little starting base and then We'll build that, and then once we build that, we will get a radio message. Now, it's annoying I had to look this up. I guess the game assumed I'd be really into base building. This shouldn't take too long, and I don't anticipate much traumatic stuff happening. Okay, there's poor Keenan. Now, southeast. Now, this is a sea base. I would expect it to be pretty deep. Now, I don't think it's meant to be super far. Let's have a look around. Should be around here. Jeez, you guys, why'd you build it so damn deep? What is... It's low. Engine powering down. What was that? Did you see that? Yeah, you saw that. Hey, where's that? Oh, I know what that is. You're the same kind of son of a bitch who put a hole in my baby. That's a ghost leviathan. Oh, what a view of him. Wow. Okay. We're definitely off course here. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. Engine powering up. Rig for silent running. Shh. Da -da 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 -da. Nothing here to concern you with. There you are, you ugly. I am wrong about where this sea base is. Can I just scan the ones on the floating island? You ugly bastard. 
He's massive. Massive, massive, ugly son of a bitch. He's looking around. You ain't gonna find me though, you big idiot. Big stupid clumsy dummy. <laughs> ah, he almost had me, but he missed. He missed because he's stupid as hell. Alright, I did not think there would be a ghost leviathan this close. That is quite shocking to me. What's more alarming is I really am just in the area that I thought I was. Like, this is actually where I want to be. So, I was probably pretty close to that sea base. But, you know, I don't like the look of the neighborhood. I'm going to zip up here and I'm going to see if I can scan some of these, these bases here. All systems online. That doesn't look like these have multi-purpose modules. Oh, bulkhead. Okay, I didn't have that. But I will double check this one. That looks like it could be a multi-purpose room. I forgot so many things while I was here. <laughs> I was not in the tent of gamer. Multi-purpose room! Okay, there's a whole bunch of multi-purpose rooms I'm getting now. Although I did it a bit weirdly, that mission is complete. Well, this is really good. And we we got a really good look at that ghost leviathan. Oh boy, oh boy. Excellent news there. Let's get going. So we just zip back to base. We go and we make our thermal reactor. I don't even know if we need it to work. Like I can put it somewhere stupid like at my main base. So we don't really need it, but we do want that waypoint. And the game wanted us to do it. So fine, we'll do it. We'll play along. Magnetite, air gel, five titanium. We're running low on rubies and this stuff. We might have to go get some more, but that should be one of these. Now we just need the base part. And that's just some titanium. Do we maybe need a foundation? I'm just gonna try and build it here because I don't actually care if it works. Like it's not something that's important right now. Now we need a multi-purpose room. Uh, looks like it's okay. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Will you shut up, lady? I know what I'm doing. Apparently, I have misunderstood this. And this isn't something I build in the base. Well, okay, you know what? I kind of wanted one of these rooms anyway. Okay, this probably does need to be built on a vent. And for that, we can just take the sea moth. And that was just a little bit northeast of here. There was a venty thing, and not far. So I should keep my eye open. I feel like I should at least build it where it's not stupid. That's a bit frightening to look at. Oh, gold. I wish I remembered this. Okay, now I have to remember where I built that. Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal yeah. location uploaded to PDA. Okay. We're good to go though. We have power, we have defenses, we have everything. We have backup batteries. Okay, life pod 2. We finally got it. This will be dangerous. We are definitely in hostile territory here, but this is our last chance to get that depth module. I really, I'll, I'm, I'll be stuck if I can't get past it. 500 meters, that's right at our depth, but nowhere near Seamoth. So even if there's some maneuvering necessary, we should be fine. And Seamoth is prepared for battle. There's nasties out here, but we're ready for them. And we have a clear waypoint. There's no way to get lost. 
Wow, what is that? Weird looking. Oh, we're deep. Deep, 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 deep. That's a creepy looking plant. I don't like it. I... Whoa! Engine powering down. Ooh. Oh, they're so scary. That's a weird looking one. Jeez, lady. That guy gobbled her up. She's got to be down there. Where are you? What is that effing thing? What? It just ate a... Where's that life pod? You see a life pod there? Yes. Okay. What is going on here? What on earth am I looking at? Nothing on earth am I looking at. I'm... That thing just munched one of those wraith things. He's definitely a bad dude. Oh, I'm glad I brought torpedoes. I know everyone thinks they suck. There's a lot of danger. A whole lot of danger. I don't know what that brain thing is. Okay, he's distracted. Asshole up above. Disgusting thing. Is it that? Are those guys showing up as something hostile? I don't think it's Mr. Snappy over there. Oh, I'm frightened. Okay. Shit. No, no, we gotta go. Torpedo's on, dude. All systems online. You'll pay for that one of these days. I'll get you for that. Okay. There it is. I got my depth module any old way. Integrating new PDA data. Sup, dick? Yeah, you know what? Actually, some of this stuff. Uh, what is that? A little extra gross fish? Okay, we got what we came for. Back in before something teleports me again. Oh, that was very unpleasant. Very, very unpleasant. Now, this didn't really work on the wraiths. They just teleport. But just blasting them with a, a gas torpedo did send them packing. But either one really sort of did. A depth module. We're safe here. Plast steel ingot. And some rubies. Oh, oh, uh oh. I'm out of rubies. That's fine. I know where to get rubies and they're not a big deal. All right, now we have committed our burglary. It is time to get out with our goods. Engine powering up. Where's our friend? I think he's intimidated. I don't blame him. I do not blame him at all. That was quite the heist. Okay, I hate to say this. There's actually other stuff we want here. But for the moment, I'm not going to put up with it. We probably want that depth module anyway for the good spots. Just these blood kelp things. I could have thought to snatch one while I was down there, but I just kind of wanted to flee. And now that I'm out of there, I don't want to go back. But that was dangerous. But as long as you're careful with Mr. Ghosty up there, not that bad. Now it's life pod 19. That guy's in a bit of like a trench network or some tunnels maybe. And um, 
There's tons of rubies and goodies. And we probably need more of them anyway. That's a pretty easy peasy uh, resource run. You know, a little while ago, I, I, I said I'm pretty sure I'd reach the end of safe missions. And that really does seem to be true. That said, those warpers are kind of less dangerous than they thought they might be. It's alarming to get jumped, but, you know, you're sort of ready for it. It's not so bad. All right, here about the place. Well, we don't need torpedoes right now. So we're, you know, we're in the right area. So we have got enough. All right, I'm starting to realize something. I'm seeing more and more weird looking fish with green dots on them and stuff. This is more than enough. Let's stop booting around. Alrighty, let's just get it done. Cyclops depth module one, boom. And then to upgrade this, a plasteel lingot nickel ore, and kind of, I don't know either of those. Nickel, I have no idea. But here we are. And now we have a crush depth of 900 on both vehicles. Fantastic. You love to see it. Okay, lads, lovelies, everyone in between. That's it for now. That is it for now. I wanted that depth module. I got it. I wanted to arm the sea moth for what it's worth. I did it. I saw a ton of giant hideous monsters. That was terrible. We, we braved them together. You and I, we all did it as a team. I appreciate it. I love you guys for helping me out. It's too frightening on my own in many ways. And we got our depth module. We got our depth module. You know what? We should celebrate by putting up a poster. Let's put it here. There we are. Super cool. And that's our little celebration. So this was good. This was a really long episode. I don't know how much of it's going to be something I'm going to include, but it was super long. Trust me. Many, many hours. A lot of it was quite frustrating in parts. So I'm going to edit most of that out. But we're doing really good. We have the depth, at least for now, to handle any problems that we're going to come across. So that's pretty good. I think we're all right. I really do. Now we just need to figure out where to go. And I have some ideas. Do we start building the Nautilus rocket? Do we start trying to investigate where alien bases might be to get a cure for our disease, which I don't think we have? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. I don't know. That doesn't. I mean, let my immune system do its job. But maybe we can always help it. So, yeah, okay. Maybe that's something we need to start looking into. I have a bit of time to figure it out. I'm not going to have another Subnautic episode out right away. So we'll, I'll think about it and then I'll, we'll, we'll come up with a plan of action. If any of you know, feel free to share this information with me. It's not cheating if your pals help you out. Okay, lads, lovelies, everyone in between. Thanks for coming by. Love ya and I'll see you next time. Bye.